Hey guys, I don't know if you had a chance to check out the last video, but it was about how to convert a PowerPoint to a Squirm course. So that was a video one in the series, this is video two, and this time we're going to talk about how to make changes to your PowerPoint slides once you've already imported them into a course. So let's look at slide one here. And say I want to change this topic one to topic two. And I don't necessarily want to go back to the original PowerPoint, make the change there, and then re-upload and convert into the Ududu authoring tool. Uh, then if you don't want to do that, you can actually just use this edit feature. So what you do is you pick the text that you want to change. So I want to change topic one. Got to remember that. I click edit. Okay, something scary happens. A bunch of code appears. This is actually the HTML that is generated when you convert your PowerPoint, which is pretty cool. But if you don't want to read all this code, I totally understand. And what you can do is you can use the control F function, or if you're a Mac user, you can use the command F function and you type the text in, you want to change. So topic one, and you can see that it gets highlighted here and I want to change this to topic two. So I delete one and I add a two and then I press save. All right, now I go back to go back to preview the content. Aha, it says topic two, which is perfect because there might be a lot of cases where, you're, you know, you make a typo or you need to change a date or a name and you don't necessarily want to go back every time to go change those in the PowerPoint because then you have to reconvert them. And that's kind of a pain. Um, so yeah, uh, the one thing is about having control over the HTML is that you might delete some of the necessary code. So for example, if I was silly and I accidentally deleted a bunch of things, which happens all the time, uh, and I press save. Oh no, I lost my slide. Okay, so that looks kind of scary. If this happens to you and you're like, oh no, where's my content? You always have the undo all button which is your revert button so this is going to revert the slide back to the way it was when you first converted it so you always have that there and then you can press save there it is um now you don't have to worry so yes it can be scary that you have control over the html code but you can always revert it back to the original so do not be afraid make changes at your will uh thanks for listening there will be another video soon. It will be about how to add assessments to your PowerPoint courses. Um, yeah, so check it out. Thanks for listening. Bye.